Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, Aces Home Expert. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a new sump pump. Okay, before you do any work, make sure you unplug the pump there. You don't want any electrical current running into the system. Now, the pump we're going to replace today has a, a float switch that's integrated into the pump. Many times, some pumps actually have two plugs. One of them is the switch and the other is the pump motor and that'll be indicated by actually two extension cords going down into the pit. But on this one, it's just one. So we're gonna unplug it to make sure that there's no power to the pump. This is a check valve. Now a check valve here, it's designed to close it so that when the pump is pumping, all of this water, depending on the rise of water, doesn't just go back into the pit causing the pump to run over and over and over again. And so if we're going to remove this pump, whether it's for service or replacement, we're going to remove this check valve. And if you remove it on the bottom here, remember this is sort of like a door that opens and closes like a flap. By removing it on this, on the bottom side, the water is going to be held here. You may get a little bit of dripping, but it's not going to rush out. If you loosen it on the top, all that water is going to come down. So you're just going to use a flat bladed screwdriver like I have here and loosen the hose clamp enough so that you can kind of spin it here. This has a rubber connection and then I'm going to kind of gently wiggle this up and kind of move it to the side. With the plastic piping you have a little bit of flexibility there. Now the pump is disconnected. We can take the lid off of it. Remember that many times a sump pump may or may not have a lid. So I'm just going to pull this off the top here and move it off of there. Okay, once that's disconnected, you may get a little dripping water out of here. That's okay. The, pu the pipe should hang so the water goes back into the pit. Then you want to firmly grab the cord and you can go ahead and grab the pipe that's connected to the pump. Lift it up a little bit there probably is going to be water at the bottom of this pump and you want to pull that up and out of the pit and then set it down. Whenever you do anything with a sump pump, when you remove it out of the pit, it's a perfect time to take a look down inside there and clean any debris that might be inside of this pit. Now, remember that a sump pump, unlike an ejector pit, is taking groundwater into this pit and then the pump is pumping it out. So, Typically, there's uh, drain pipes that come in from the side. If you see any leaves or debris there, just take your hand and kind of pull all that out of there. Now, I'm just going to use a shop vac and turn it on to pull all that out of there, which is probably the best way to, to do it. You don't have to get everything out of there, but you want to get it as clean as possible so when the pump goes back in, there's nothing blocking its path to get the water out of there as quickly as possible. Okay, so when it comes to replacing some pumps, it's important to try and get like equipment. That way it makes the swap out and the new installation as simple as possible. As you can see, I have two very similar pumps here. They're both of the same uh, size as far as horsepower and gallons per hour. They do have uh, different switches. This is a tether switch like this, and this is a, a stand switch, but that's okay. The actual operation is exactly the same. So this first pipe that's screwed into it, you may need to use a wrench on here, but for demo purposes, I have this a little loose, and I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this inch and a half pipe from the body of the old pump, and that just comes off of there. I'm gonna move that to the side. Now, I'm going to screw this into the new pump and thread that on there and get this as tight as possible. You don't have to over tighten it, but you just want to make sure it's nice and snug. If you choose to, you can use some Teflon tape, but if a little bit of the water leaks out of there when the pump is operating, that's not the end of the world. And you just want to make sure that that pipe is nice and tight. Now, with the pipe in place and the new pump assembled, 
we can drop it into the pit and re-put the, the check valve on it, plug it in, and then we're ready to test it out. Okay, now with the new pump, we want to get it down onto the pit, make sure it sits there flat on the bottom. One of the things that a lot of times people forget is if you have a lid, like we have here, is we forget to put the lid on before we actually connect it back to the check valve. So it's not the end of the world if you forget, you can come back and do it again, but you're gonna just slip that over the top like we did when we took it off and just feed the, the cord up through there and let that sit. Now, we're gonna take that check valve, reconnect it to the pipe, and you wanna just gently fit that rubber boot. On this particular one, it's a rubber boot. Some check valves actually glue in place or have different clamps, but on this one, you see it's just a hose clamp. And once you know that it's firmly there, you're going to tighten this hose clamp. Check these other fittings while you're here. Just make sure that they're snug because you've moved a few things around because you don't want to get splashed with water when you go to test out this pump. In order to test the pump, there may not be enough water in the pit to do that. So you're going to need an additional bucket of water or maybe even a hose to pour down in there to activate the pump. So I'm just going to leave this lid off here a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And now I'm going to pour some water inside the pit to test the pump. We now have a working sump pump. We know that it's working. We're going to go ahead and put that lid back on. Here's a little tip. If you will be replacing your sump pump, it's a good idea to put a date on there so you remember when you installed the pump. Now, this particular one has a little tag on the cord. You literally could just write the date on this tag or take a piece of tape, wrap it around the cord, and write the date on this. Remember, you don't want this to be in the water. You want it to be somewhere where you can see exactly when you installed the pump, and then seven years from now, it's time for a new one. And that's it. If you'd like more information, go to our website, acehardware.com. Please follow us on YouTube and stop by your local Ace Hardware store because Ace is the helpful place.